Here are five simple things you can try if someone grabs your hair or hijab from the front or the side. First is an eye strike. Grab onto their head and drive your thumb into the eye. Be aware they're going to pull away. The second is a throat strike. Make that stiff knife hand and jab with the tips of your fingers. The third is a palm heel, striking with the heel of your hand, fingers curled back, and jab up to the nose or chin. The fourth is an ear box. Cup that hand to trap air and force it into their eardrum. And the fifth is a groin strike. Grab onto their shoulder and neck and pull them down into your knee. <laughs> break that down. You find yourself in a situation, someone has you by the wrist and they're on top of you too. You want to push back into them, giving them resistance before they get your hands to the ground. Circle your, your arms inside, breaking the grips free. You want to put the hand on the hips and then buck them this way and shrimp out the opposite direction. Once your legs comes out and controlling in the, in the hips, you want to control an arm Trap an arm, foot comes over the back, this one comes over the head. You want to squeeze your knees, hip up, and pull down on the arm or an arm bar. And that is your move for the day. If you follow or get pushed down, you need to be able to stand up by stepping away from your attacker, keeping your eyes on them, and keeping a hand up to protect yourself. It all starts with two points of balance, one hand and one foot. Now lift your body weight up using those two points of balance. This does require some strength, so give it a few tries. Then you're gonna swing your leg through and step back toward the same side hand. Once you've tried that a few times, put it all together. Step back onto that foot, stand up, keep your other hand up and your eyes on the threat. Then use this way of getting up every time you're on the ground. The more you practice, the easier it gets. A striking implement like a glass breaker can do damage anywhere on the attacker's body. Working from your flinch response, being startled, you could stab into their chest, stab into their shoulder. Now obviously, just like with the open hand, the throat and the eyes would cause the most damage, permanent damage. You could blind your attacker, you could kill your attacker. These are only for life-threatening situations if your own life is at risk or if somebody is trying to sexually assault you. This may be the single most important piece of self-defense information that you ever hear. If you are being attacked and your life is at risk, the two most vulnerable parts of any human being's body are their eyes and their throat. These are two areas where very little pressure can have a huge impact. Of course, there are risks, but if your own life is at risk, you deserve to know how to save it.